Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Simon the Sorcerer, another adventure game I've never played before. For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't Impressed, it? Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Uh? <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> the wand never fails. Oh, lovely. Okay, the I'm wand works. I'm getting the idea. And now for my next trick. Ah! <laughs> oh, well. Back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. <laughs> I would have skipped through it by now. This is a pretty cool opening. We're not going to skip through it. We're going to sit and watch it. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. <laughs> wow! It's a bit... What? <laughs> I didn't even have time to get a phone number. <laughs> and now, for all you traditionalists... Yay! Knocks them dead every time. Need to get the rabbit out of there, right? It's like the golden rule. Now for the woman again. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> didn't quite get that right. <laughs> Never mind. I like a woman with spirit. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, as I said, I've never played this before. It's been heavily requested for years now, and it's time to actually finally play it. Now the police quest's out of the way. Uh, we'll play, be playing this one, we'll be playing the second one. I don't know if we'll do the 3D <laughs> one or not, but we shall see. I know this is very highly recommended, though. This homework is really bugging me. <laughs> I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. Oh, what? <laughs> so is that, like, really us, then? Like, we're imagining being a sorcerer or something? Or maybe we get, like, transported into a magic world? I literally know nothing about this game, so... So that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldy spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. <laughs> huh? Ooh. Yeah, it looks like a portal to another world or something. Is the dog going through? Absolutely. Ooh. Okay, Gobos. This magic paper bring food. What the hell are these things? I thought I heard something. Alizigi. Alizangi. Alizongi. Alizongi. Please. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Huh? Uh huh? Hi, uh, how do you do? Ah! Lunch time! No, thank you. Not much meat on him. Down food. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could have gone better, couldn't it? Need more pepper. Ah, 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 no! uh, are they scared of the dog? <laughs> it looks like they may be scared of the dog. Oh, okay. We're here now. <laughs> Whatever this place is. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. Nice. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. 
feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Calypso, <laughs> Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. Nice. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Okay. Sounds straightforward enough. So we've got to go to the tavern. Oh, great. I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight. <laughs> Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. Is it a dream? Is it though? Okay, are we in? Oh, we're in. Look, we can interact. Okay, yeah, so this is um, the first Simon the Sorcerer game. We're playing the legacy version, which unfortunately means we have to choose between voices and subtitles. I've gone for voices because you guys don't want to hear me reading all the dialogue. Um, you can play with both voices and subtitles if you play the 25th anniversary edition, but I loaded that up to give it a go and the visuals are absolutely horrendous like i've put some sort of very odd filter over the top of the original visuals and called it a remaster it looks awful so we're not going to be doing that so we'll just have to bear with the fact that we've not got subtitles which is a bit of a shame but never mind um are those headphones yep they are we've got like a a walkman or something here I like this, like idle animations. That's pretty cool. Um, so they said about the map and the postcard, right? So we've got a map, village. That's literally all we've got, and then a postcard. How do we? So this is the village, right? Okay. And where does where does this take us? Let's go back to this. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Maybe we should not have clicked the map yet. Psst. Did you say... Psst. Who, me? Yes. <laughs> what do you want? You interested in any... Mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Uh, not, not really. No. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No, thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? I haven't got any gold, so um, let's have a look then. How can, how come you sell? Um, how come you can sell prince, priceless antiques for so little? Have you got any hint box for this game? Sorry, I'm not really interested. Sorry, I'm really not interested. Who needs your custom anyway? Not very good customer service, is it? All right, let's. Can we go back to wherever we were at the start? Because I, I kind of wanna. I wanted to look around that area, to be honest. Oh, there was an exit there. <laughs> Bugger, how do we get how do we get back to where we were? We definitely came from this way, didn't we? Because we saw ourselves come down this little tunnel thing. Can we Can we just like walk out of town? Oh maybe we can. What the hell is this place? Okay, we, we can't seem to go anywhere here. We're in what looks like some sort of I mean it wasn't this place, was it? doesn't look like it. I mean, I'm, I would quite like to go back there, to be honest, wherever that was. Because it seems like like a starting area and there might be items there that we need. This is a good start, isn't it? Alright, let's go through this way. Maybe we came from here. Uh, maybe? It's like some sort of blacksmith here. Making a racket. Oh, is this where we came from? There's an open door. Yay! Okay, fine. Right, let's have a look around this place because we didn't get to do that. Also, we've got this postcard. Oh, I see, that's just like the menu, basically. And then we've got Calypso's note, which obviously we read before. Um, let's, fine, let's have a look around here. I, I don't really want to head off until we've potentially found anything we might need in this place. A shallow drawer in the wizard's writing desk. Yeah, can we open that? Oh, look, there's a pair of scissors in here. Yeah, see? See? Scissors. <laughs> I like that we put it into the hat. That's quite cool. Uh, is there anything else in the drawer? A shallow drawer in the wizard's writing desk. No? Okay, so we've got the dog, we've got a, a mystic tapestry. A strange picture with strange symbols around it. Okay. What else have we got in here? <laughs> we've got a magnet and a fridge, apparently. It's a fine example of its kind. 
Okay, can we take the magnet? Yeah, see, look, all these things we would have missed. And I bet they would, they're they going to come you in handy. You wouldn't expect to see one of those here. Y you wouldn't, actually, The no. door appears to be stuck shut. Oh, it's stuck shut. Was that what the, um, what the magnet was for? That doesn't work. No? Well, I wondered if the magnet was, like, to be used as a handle, but apparently not. Um, anything over here? Yeah, wizard stuff. And there's, like, a bed up here that you've got to climb a ladder to get into, which is kind of cool. Um, right. Wizard stuff. The music seems a bit quiet. It must be Calypso's junk. <laughs> junk. Yeah, the music seems a bit quiet compared to like the sound effects and the um, voices. What would I want with that pile of junk? All right, calm down. Okay, so we've got a lot of commands here. Consume, where? Haven't seen those ones before in a game. Um, let's talk to the dog. Also, can we take the dog with us? I haven't got the heart to wake him. Can we... It looks like there's a key or something on the wall there, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with that. No way! I don't know where it's been! <laughs> Come on, take the dog. Go on a nice adventure together. Alright, so let's head out. Um, is there anything we can interact with out here? Hang on. Behind Cottage. Ah, mm. oh, look, there's a whole area here. Compost. A heap of highly magical and smelly compost. Smelly compost, eh? Can we, uh, can we get any of that? That would completely overpower my pheromones. <laughs> okay, fine. But we'll have to remember that's there, because it could be useful. They wouldn't put that there for no reason, right? Uh, can't interact with anything there. Is there, like, anything further to the left? Or is this... No, this is as far as it goes. All right, let's head out and talk to that blacksmith then. So we've got to find the tavern as well. That's like the big one, right? That's what Calypso suggested in the letter. That's a rope. Can we take that? No one will miss this old thing. Nah. Sure, the blacksmith doesn't need it. Picking up a lot of things already. It's a clapper. What's a clapper? I don't know, but I want it. It's a metal bar from inside a bell. Can we, can we take that? Yeah. God, we've got a lot of items. <laughs> There's an anvil. Uh, we can't interact with anything there. There's a forge door. All right, let's look at this guy. Oh, he's big and muscly, isn't he? He's very muscular. God, he's like double our height as well. <laughs> Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. Oh, okay. Can we like? Can we use like a magnet here just to annoy him? That doesn't work. No? Okay. Can we open the door to his forge? It's locked. Okay, no, it's locked. Fine. Alright, well... What's this door? Nothing, apparently. Okay, let's head through. Alright, so we're back to this guy again, so... Let's see what crap he's got to give us. Change your mind, eh? No. I've got lots of stuff to interest anyone at stupid prices. Extra cheap for wizards. Ah, oh, well that's coincidence. How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off <laughs> bargains. Um, have you got any hint books for the game? Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry, no. sold the last one five minutes ago. Oh. I've got lots of other stuff though. Alright, fine. Let's have a look then. Anything on the mat is yours, for only one gold piece. One See gold piece. See anything takes your fancy? Uh, I have some of that worthless junk. I mean, we haven't got a gold piece, so... I've got something that might take yours. Not really, have you got any magical stuff? Not really. Have you got any magical stuff? But of course I have. For the right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. A strength potion, eh? That's Genuine, not... long-lasting, fast-acting strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Ten gold pieces? Um... All right, five gold pieces. Well... Three gold pieces, then? But that's the last I go. What do you say? I mean, we, we, we don't have anything. Can I see something else? Certainly, sir. What I have here is a one-off. It's a unique, magical, invisibility amulet. Watch. Can you see yourself? Uh, no. 
<laughs> this guy's a scammer. And this can be yours for only five gold pieces. I can't say fairer than that. Now can I? <laughs> can I see something else? Can I see something else? That's all the magical stuff I've got. Oh. Do you see anything else interest you? Not, not really. No, all the rest is junk. Goodbye. Who needs your custom anyway? Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Got some ducks here, which we don't seem to be able to interact with. All right, um, it's a cool statue. Let's look at this. I wonder why there's no graffiti on it. <laughs> we don't want any graffiti on there. Don't graffiti on statues, come on. Hopefully we don't have to graffiti on it. It's not like a hint or anything. Right, this ladder, can we take this? I saw this on the way through. You can go up it or down it. But can you take it? You better believe it. And we've got a wagon wheel. I mean, do we want a wagon wheel? I love wagon wheels. I guess we're talking about the chocolate It's snack. too big for me. Come on. Just put a ladder in that hat. Can we get into whatever this place is? Oh, we might be able to. Huh. What's this? Where are we going? I didn't click to come up here. <laughs> moose head. It's a papier mache moose head. <laughs> Can we take that? It's a papier mache moose head. Yeah, no, but I want to take it. It's too big for me. Really? Specimen jars. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. Yeah, we're going to take that. God, our inventory is going to be very, very full soon, isn't it? What else can we get from here? Just going to steal everybody's stuff, you know? Why not? Oh, a cold remedy. That might be useful. Doesn't seem like anyone actually is here. <laughs> Just left their shop. So we'll take all their stuff. I like the little sound it makes when you pick things up. That little magical sound. That's really cool. Okay, we've robbed this place. So let's go off in this direction. There's a beehive here. Now, I get the feeling we might get stung if we try to interact with this, but we'll try it. I'm not going too close. Okay, so we, we might need something to help us with that. It's too big for me. Okay. Uh, chocolate truffle door. That is odd. This must be an extremely low-budget candy house. <laughs> okay, let's open the door. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, we can't get in there then. Oh, well. Um, let's head back into town. And we'll head off this way. I'm enjoying this so far. It's really good. I love the setting. I'm, like, very immersed. That, that is for sure. I'm, like, straight in. I'm in the game. Sometimes it takes, you know... I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to feel settled in a game's world, but this I'm just instantly in. Okay, so there's a shop. Looks like we can go either way here. So let's try to look at this shop out. I know we're going to the tavern, but we'll take a detour. Oh my god, okay. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Hello. Yeah. It's a two-headed punk shopkeeper. It should be put here with the other vegetables. Excuse me. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, I don't know no, yet. No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> don't listen to him. How can I help you? <laughs> a 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me. Keep talking. 30%. Uh, 40 50. Can I get any service or not? <laughs> what would you like, sir? Seems like you guys aren't very good at business. Hard information. Got any? Hard information. Got any? What sort of information? Um, I don't know. What do you know about Sordid? What do you know about Sordid? He likes jellied anchovies. And perfume bath salts. Anything else? Um, what's the square root of 1369? What's the square root of 1369? 37. Okay. Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I don't know. Nor do I. <laughs> okay. Where's the door? Where's the door? No need to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got all sorts of stuff here. Look at all this. Uh, we don't have any money, though. Flour, corn, beans. I feel like maybe we come back here, actually, because... I don't know, there's, there's so much stuff here. Like, we can't buy it. So, 
Maybe we go and talk to these people at the tavern first and then go from there. Oh, this is appearing like it's out of town, so maybe we don't go that way. Let's try this way, see if the tavern's down here. Aha, the tavern. And I tell you what, guys, that is a perfect place for us to end this first episode. This is very good so far. I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to play more. Um, yeah, really, really cool opening. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, Paul Leon, Flossy the Sheep, Joncon555, Chrissy, and Paul James. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>